Hi, I just wanted to uh, take you through the process because I am one of, I believe, half a dozen uh, librarians. I think we're called uh, library content uh, producers who have given, who's been given um, beta access to a cross-platforming upload system for library. I'll, of course, link in my library channel. I've now got like 14,000 something subscribers on library. Fantastic. I think I'm still number five in the world. Um, anyway, I've been, I've installed the latest beta version of the Windows library desktop app here. Uh, which actually gives me access. I'm, I'm now actually um, uploading. You can just hit the upload uh, button here. So I'm now uploading my latest video here. Now what it will do is I'll normally I upload to uh, as all uh, library content creators do. We upload to YouTube first as we normally would, and then YouTube, uh, then library automatically pulls our videos, including the video itself in full HD, uh, 1080p and it pulls the description, the title, the uh, thumbnail, and I think keywords and everything. Like it pulls everything over for us. It's completely automatic. It's fantastic. If you're a YouTube content producer and you're not signed up to library, you're insane because it, it just, it's set and forget. You set it up once and boom, it just automatically backs up all your videos onto library, um, all of your YouTube videos. So anyway, uh, they've just now implemented this new thing where we can publish to library first. But the problem is library, because of its decentralized nature and it's very new and everything, it can't handle very high bitrate files. And it will now actually give you a warning message. It wasn't like this a couple of weeks ago, but they've now gives you a warning message if the uh, bitrate is uh, too high. And they actually recommend uh, for video content, use MP4s in H.264 AEC format and a friendly bitrate for reliable streaming. There's a publishing guide um, over here. And I think they use one of my videos as, as an example, because I uploaded one of my videos and it was too high uh, bitrate. And it crashed, like it didn't crash the system, but it, like it caused a lot of buffering problems and stuff like that for people to replay the videos. Anyway, um, we now have the ability to upload to library first at using our original format uh, file. Now this latest file I've got here is 971 uh, meg. So it's almost a gig. Let's just say it's a gig. Now that's actually a small file for me. Um, if you actually have a look here, let me see if I can, I'll show you. Show you my master subdirectory. Here we go. Here's all my files. Bring it over. Here you go. Here's all my files, right? These are all my master files that I upload to YouTube. And here it is here, alkaline battery leakage test number two. And it's video number 12, 96. And yes, I do have every video going back to number one. Look, some of them are as big as like 12, like uh, the 747 simulator, 12 gig up here, for example. So my, I export in a fairly high um, bit rate, like currently uh, 12 megabits, but I used to do like 16 megabits, um, uh, MPEG-4. Anyway, so this is in full HD. I, I do more, a higher bit rate if I'm doing the occasional 4K video. But anyway, um, yeah, as you can see, most, you know, six gig mystery teardown, you know, so they're fairly large uh, uh, file sizes. And obviously you can't let upload those direct to library. If you did, then people, the th good thing about libraries is that you can actually download the original file. And, but that's, it doesn't support multiple resolutions. Ho hopefully they'll, you know, add that, but I can imagine that's a uh, big deal, but I believe it's in the works anyway. So um, yeah, you have to download the original file that the content creator that I upload. So if I upload this six gig file here, you're gonna be downloading the six gig file if you watch it on my library channel. And obviously that's not good. Um, I do produce a 720p version using Handbrake uh, that I put on my uh, RSS podcast feed. I've been doing that for 10 plus years now since day one. Um, anyway, so the one we're uploading today is one gig, and that's still quite large, okay? Um, just to watch this video, because the reason this file size is a bit small, it's short, and also um, there's lots of screen capture stuff in there, so not much of the information changes, so it compresses uh, reasonably well. Anyway, um, it. so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna trial this new system where I upload the original file to here, which will then, there's an option down the bottom here, the library app, I can go automatically update upload to my YouTube channel. And what it will do is upload that original, 
a full bitrate file to YouTube, but it won't do that for the library video. It'll actually transcode it using FFmpeg, and I've installed FFmpeg. Um, Sorry, I won't go into the settings and show you, but anyway, I've installed FFmpeg in a subdirectory of my library uh, app here, and it's detected, optimize, and transcode video. It doesn't there's no checkbox for that. So anyway, it was telling me that it couldn't find FFmpeg before, but I went in and set the uh, set the directory, and that's fine. My description for this and that, leakage testing, uh, here we go, electric, um, alkaline battery leakage testing part, uh, part two, electric boogaloo. <laughs> Those AD aficionados will know, will will get that joke. I think I'm, is that how you spell boogaloo? I don't know, I'm an engineer, I can't spell. Anyway, um, description, uh, part two of the alkaline battery leakage testing. I, I can modify that later. Um, advanced editor, don't know what that is. Because uh, once again, I, I don't upload on library. So choose a thumbnail, let me choose that. Hang on, I'll go, let me go out of here, choose file, just in case it pops up with something I don't want you to see. Thumb one, open. Are you sure you want to upload? You betcha. There you go. Upload the thumbnail to speech. Upload, there it is, boom. Recommended 16.9, add tags, I can do that later. Uh, you know, science, whatever. Technology, yep. All right, so channel, I wanna put it to, now here's an annoying thing, because I've had several attempts over the last two years of, of mucking around with library, there's multiple channels here. And it doesn't tell you which one's what, and I can't delete channels. So it's really annoying. Anyway, I believe it's this one here is my main channel. So it's my main library channel. And that's the uh, library uh, URL. I'm not going to deposit, like I can deposit library credits or whatever. And I'll just whack it like as in support uh, library credits. Uh, it's free. I'm not going to charge you for this video. Uh, auto magically upload to your YouTube channel. English license. Uh, I don't know where like what's default. It's copyrighted, of course, but I don't know. Creative Commons. I guess all rights reserved. I guess. I don't know. I haven't touched my uh, copyright stuff on YouTube forever. Anyway, here we go. Publish. So let's publish. And yes, um, these are some of the other channels, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Big Clive has joined library. He's uh, really shooting up with a bullet. He just surpassed the porn channel. Good on you, Clive. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> Big Clive is now bigger than the porn channel on library. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Uh, Barnacles and um, Minute Physics, Nerd Rage, Veritasian 3 Blue Wonder. I... There's, I thought I subscribed to a couple of others. There's other electronics channels on here too. Anyway, um, publish something totally wacky and wild. So there's no, it's just publishing. So anyway, I'm just going to leave that. Um, it, it could take a while. I'll just call this video quits here. But so if it shows up, um, oh, success. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, it's on another window. It's asking me to sign in the library uploader. Uh, it's asking me to sign in. I won't show you this, but it is asking me to sign in and give authority to my uh, to for, for the library uploader program to access my YouTube channel. And I'm going to select yes. I'm going to select my main channel, EV Blog. This app isn't verified. This app hasn't been verified by Google yet. Only proceed if you know and trust the developer. Yes, I trust. Right. Okay. Go to library uploader. Unsafe. Library uploader wants to access your account, wants to manage my YouTube videos. Yep, allow. Received code. You can now safely close this browser window. Thank you. So I believe that is, I assume it's just auto-magically doing that in the background now. I've given it access, the YouTube uploader program, and 
my video, my upload is complete. See how fast that upload was? Like, that's like, is that on my library channel now? Like, nah, it's, it, it's, it's still pending. It's still pending. It's still being processed or whatever. But yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Um, So I'll wait and see if it's <laughs> on my YouTube channel. I'll go over to another window here and I'll just check. So let me have a look. But yeah, so in theory, um, I should be able to just uh, upload to library. And then, uh, although I can't verify that they've uploaded the full bitrate version. I get, oh, there's ways I could do it. But anyway, 711,000 subscribers I've got now. Woo. Fantastic. I thought I'd only ever get 1,000 if I got really successful. It's, yep, it's uploading. It's processing. So, yep, I can show you that now. Yep. So there you go. It's, yeah, it's in the process of uploading. It works. <laughs> it looks like it's doing its business. And a few other, um, as I said, like there's half a dozen uh, content creators who they've given this access to. And a couple of those, I believe uh, two I've already heard from, they said it works. So I've seen their tweets. So there you go. I it's zero percent processed. Has it uploaded already? Wow, really? Has it uploaded already? That's incredible. Anyway, that seems to work. So there you go. That is the process of uploading uh, to my library channel. Woot! <laughs> so there you go. Um, hope you liked that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Anyway, it's a second channel video. Whatever. Catch you next time.